The largest gift fair in Western Canada is coming to Edmonton this week. The bad news is it's closed to the public and only retailers can get in. But the good news is we get a sneak peek on what's going to be showing up on your store shelves in the coming months. So joining us to talk more about it is Jillian Hodgson. Welcome, Jillian. Thanks for having me. So this is the good with the bad. So you might not be able to go in and see it now, but we will be seeing it coming out into stores very soon. That's right. And folks can find most of this product online as well. Nice. So we'll get started with the jewelry maker, Pika and Bear. Okay. A company founded in Saskatchewan by a gentleman named Jonathan Seamard, and he got his start actually setting up shop at festivals, and then before long caught the eye of retailers, and now he's as busy as can be and his products flying off the shelves. He originally slept uh, 178 nights in a tent the first year of the business. That's unreal. So, yeah, he's come a long way, and it's a labor of love for sure, but some very unique designs. He's also making these chunky wool blankets, which are great for fall. And the best part about this company is that a portion of sales goes to environmental conservation efforts, which is really great. Excellent. So the next step we have Yogi Bo. So you'll see the beanbag at the front. This is the next generation of beanbag chair. This is not your parents' beanbag chair. <laughs> what makes it special is it has a proprietary fill inside of it that allows it to contour, conform to the contours of your body. So if you can feel. Oh, crazy. The, the fabric's really super soft and stretchy. It's machine washable. It's water resistant. So you could plunk that out on the deck. It's perfect for a dorm room or a kid's room. So it's awesome. Nice. Um, they also make some other really interesting product. This one, if you travel with kids, you know the iPad's probably coming along with you. So in an airplane or in a car, it secures it comfortably so they can watch or in bed or uh, from the couch at home. This is an aromatherapy blanket. So you pop this into the microwave and it's lavender scented. So it provides soothing relief if you're feeling under the weather or maybe you have some agitated kiddos at home. Mm -hmm. It has a nice weight to it. And then next up, we have a company called Life from the Roots. So they have a really admirable origin story. Their mandate is to support job creation programs across Africa and in Indonesia. Oh, excellent. Uh, they also employ vulnerable or disabled populations, and it gives them a means of uh, generating an income and kind of a, a sense of independence as well. So some really beautiful handcrafted pieces from them. And then last but not least, it's that time of year where people are breaking down the door of the local Starbucks to get their <laughs> pumpkin spiced fix. Yes. So Ebony and Ivory Candles, Brianne Edwardson um, is the gal, started this company in Lethbridge and she's managed to create a pumpkin spice candle so you can sp pumpkin spice your entire home. Nice. And yeah. it does smell very much It's so. amazing. And it's never too early for Christmas candles in my mind. So we have Mountain Fur and Noel here as well. I like so, it. Like yeah. It. Amazing, right? And, it, and it's funny how much a scent just triggers on holiday spirit, whatever holiday that yeah. you're looking forward to. So I know so a true. lot of people, as soon as we start to see the leaves changing, mm -hmm. they get into that mindset and yeah, pumpkin spice pumpkin will kick spice it off. Pumpkin spice time. Yeah. I like it. Perfect. So uh, what, what's your top pick from all the things that are that are coming out? You know, this Yogi Bo beanbag line, th this is the smallest product that they make. They actually mm. have a sofa and a recliner, so it fits three adults or five <laughs> kids. And this has been dominating gift guides across North America. So it's something to watch out for, for sure. Nice. And it's probably um, good so that it doesn't overheat the, the tablet either. Absolutely. Yeah, you betcha. Really handy and comfortable as well. I like it. Perfect. Well, there you have it. The Alberta Gift Fair runs from Sunday, August 26th to Wednesday, August 29th at the Northlands Expo Centre. As mentioned, it is not open to the public, but you can find out more online at www.cangift.org. Follow them on Twitter. Their handle is at CanGift. Stay with us. We're back after the break.